my check 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 justin hunt it's all happening thank you to everybody rocking with the channel thank you to everybody subscribed to the channel everyone who shared a video shared what we're doing over here spreading the good word really 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 appreciate it big thank you to everyone who's donated Thank you to everyone who's donated. If you'd like to donate to the channel, help forward our mission, you can hit the cash app that's right up there. Or there's a link in the description. Uh, you can hit the link tree in the description if you'd like to donate too. And big, big, big shout out to our new members, to the newest members. Big shout out to Andrew Orsak. Big shout out to W.A. Walker for his re-up. Big shout out to Marty McFly for his re-up. Big shout out to Matt Traverso, Jordan Pollins. Low, nine second applause. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I really appreciate it, guys. Our community is growing. We're at 248, 248 members on our way to 300. If you'd like to join, there's a link in the description for you to join as well. Everything is appreciated. I uh, feel blessed and highly favored. Now, first story of the week, first story of the week, maybe not the week, but first story of the day. Definitely first story of the day. Tommy Richmond, man. Oh, Tommy Richmond. Tommy Richmond be trying to pull a, pull a fast one on us. I feel it. I feel like he is pulling the okie doke. Now, we've talked about Tommy Richmond quite a bit over the past week and a half. Now, Million Dollar Baby is an objectively great song. I think all of us had a great time jamming to it. Whatever radio station it came on, whatever hip-hop affiliated something it was played at, we had no problems with Tommy Richmond nor Million Dollar Baby. Then Tommy Richmond threw himself out the window for no reason, threw himself on the... <laughs> on the, the I don't want to box myself in cross <laughs> for no reason two weeks ago when he went to Twitter and he posted that he's not a hip-hop artist. He did. He did that for no reason. He said, I'm not a hip-hop artist. Now, I don't know why. I don't know if we ever really got an answer for that. But we covered that extensively in a previous video. Uh, especially because DJ Head, big shout out to DJ Head. DJ Head called him out on it, called him out on it. He was like, that's fine, cool, yeah, no problem. Okay, you're not a hip-hop artist. Just remember that when you stop getting supported by hip-hop radio like Million Dollar Baby was. Remember that when you get support, not supported anymore by all the DJs who are mixing your stuff, all your stuff. That's, that's what DJ Head said. And Tommy Richmond came back and said, I mean, I'm not solely a hip hop artist. <laughs> right. I mean, this is one of those things, again, this is very post Malone of Tommy Richmond. Post Malone, Tommy Richmond. Right. And uh, apparently him and DJ Head had a conversation and I guess everything is fine. But Tommy Richmond threw himself out the window for no reason, said he's not hip hop. Got called out, said, I'm not solely a hip hop artist. We talk about how you don't even have to make music to be hip hop. You know, I was at the Red Bull BC One Breaker Championships, U.S. Championships. Those guys weren't rapid. Okay. We talked about all this. Even last week, we did a story on Shibuzi, who amongst all of his acclaim that he's receiving in the country space this year, he's got one of the biggest, biggest songs on the, in the world this year. Bar Club Tipsy, even he, in his Billboard interview, talked about how he's still a part of hip-hop. You don't even have to make rap music to be a part of hip-hop. <laughs> Tommy Richmond, that Tommy Richmond. So we went through all this stuff with Tommy Richmond, and this week it was announced. Tommy Richmond, Million Dollar Baby, reportedly submitted for rap Grammys. Rap Grammys, okay? Now, this is, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like, this, this is the type of announcement that feeds into culture vulture narratives. I'm not saying Tommy Richmond's necessarily a culture vulture. I don't think he's been around long enough for us to really know. I think him jumping out the window saying what he's not, that he's not hip-hop, without necessarily having a, an understanding of the distinction between these things is very telling. I'm not ready to put him in the culture vulture box, box yet. Post Malone had a series of things, for example. He had a lot of things. You know, this might just be a young kid who's pretty ignorant on things. But to within two weeks of saying he's not hip-hop, after claiming he's not a... He even said he's not a rap artist, he's an R&B person. <clears throat> well, 
Since then, Million Dollar Baby has been submitted for the Grammys. Here's the Billboard article. So Tommy Richmond is hip hop now. <laughs> right, exactly. The Virginia singer will be up for a couple of rap Grammys this upcoming February, according to Hollywood Reporter. His viral hit Million Dollar Baby was submitted for Best Rap Song and Best Melodic Rap per Performance, the publication reports. Now, Tommy Richmond even said he wasn't a rapper. He's more of a singer and R&B singer. I mean, you can be hip hop and be an R&B singer. But they're putting this specifically in the rap category. So this is like three times things that Tommy Richmond said he wasn't. Said he wasn't. Nominees have yet to be announced, but if the song is indeed nominated, it would be going up against another monster rap records such as Megan Thee Stallion's Hiss, Ye and Ty Dolla Sign's Carnival, it's not going to win. I'd be surprised if Carnival even gets nominated. I'd be very surprised it gets nominated. Not necessarily because it wasn't the biggest song of the first half of the year. It was. I mean, truthfully, Carnival is the biggest song all the way up until Like That drops. But I just don't see Kanye standing with a lot of institutions being in a solid enough place for him to get, <laughs> get nominated, especially in a big four category. We'll see. Uh, Future and Metro Boomins like that. And Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us, all of which have hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 this year. Richmond's effort, though, famously peaked at number two because it was a release in the midst of Drake and, Kendrick, and Kendrick's historic rap battle and was blocked by Lamar's knockout blow, Not Like Us. This news comes on the heels of Richmond hopping on X and proclaiming that he's not a hip-hop artist, and then walking that comment back after receiving backlash from fans and popular West Coast radio personality DJ Head. Tommy then tried to clarify further, saying, I meant to say I'm not solely a hip-hop artist. <laughs> solely. I do like money. Money is good, and seems like hip-hop likes giving me money, so I'm not solely a hip-hop artist, <laughs> as he got into it with a back-and-forth with Head. Million Dollar Baby was also submitted for Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and he may be a nominee for Best New Artist, according to The Hollywood Reporter. He was also featured on his ISO Supremacy, label boss Brent Faiyaz's track, Best Time, which was also submitted. Richmond released his debut album, Coyote, in September. It actually got this wrong the other week when I reported on the numbers. It did 2,000. It actually did 2,000. Billboard reached out to both the Grammys and Tommy's team for comment, the latter of which declined to comment. <laughs> they don't want to talk about this at all. Now, if I had to guess, I would say his team is the one who submitted this. Most artists aren't the ones submitting their own music for Grammy consideration. Uh, so perhaps this is just out of his hands. You know, obviously, Million Dollar Baby has been embraced, has been embraced by hip-hop radio, hip-hop playlisting. Um, so, you know, there's... All the way up until Tommy Richmond had something to say, <laughs> everyone was just fine with wherever it landed. If this wins, how about that? If this wins, this is, this is arguably worse than Macklemore getting album of the best rap album for the heist over Good Kid, Mad City. <laughs> this arguably is worse. Because if Tommy Richmond can pull out best rap song, for Million Dollar Baby over Not Like Us, especially with Not Like Us being polarizing since it is a diss track with some, <laughs> with some colorful, <laughs> colorful framing in it, we'll say. I actually think this is a great song for kids that teaches them the type of people to stay away from and Reconstruction Era history. Okay. One second applause for Reconstruction Era history. But if Tommy Richmond, Million Dollar Baby, actually takes home best rap song over Not Like Us, after this dude just went loudly and said he's not hip-hop and had to walk it back, it's going to be a real problem. It's going to be a real problem. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I, uh, I look at Tommy Richmond as I've got, I've got an eye on old Tommy. I'm not sure if we're approaching uh, Post Malone levels yet. This is only really his first infraction. Post Malone had a whole bunch. But I do got my eye on Tommy Richmond. We'll see how <laughs> he, he continues to evolve as an artist. <laughs> also, let me know what you think about him submitting his song for uh, best rap album, or excuse me, best rap song. My name is Justin Hunt. Like, subscribe to the channel. Follow the company man on everything. It's all happening. Justin Hunt is here. It's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. The mathematical breakdown of this mighty game of rap we in. It's bone dapping in. Systematical culture views us radical, it's all happening. Shaking hands and dapping in. Life through the lens of hip hop from
trip hot to get that dog. You don't stop. You don't, you don't stop. stop. Justin Hunt is here. It's all happening. It's all happening. Yes, it's all happening. Justin Hunt is here. It's all happening. It's all happening. Yes, it's all happening.